Hey guys, how's it going? This is Robbie Rue with Robbie Reviews. On this channel, we take random short films from YouTube and review them. On today's episode, we have Contravance by Zercher Films. If I mispronounced that, I am very sorry. A little different on today's episode. Uh, this one comes in at about 20 something minutes. So I it, it's a little too long for an episode for me because then I have about seven to 10 minutes of review. So that's like a 30 minute long episode. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I just give you guys the link, have you check it out from there, and I'm just going to do my good, not so good, and overall, I'm going to kind of experiment. If you guys like this style, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I could do this further. If you guys like the commentary instead, definitely let me know. I want to know which one works better, which one you guys are more engaged with. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Let's start off with the good on this one. All right, guys, starting off with the good on this one, I really like the overall story. I thought it was a pretty cool idea, and when I went into this film, I was like, 20 minutes? Are we going to utilize all 20 minutes effectively? And indeed, it was what I thought. I think this could have been shorter, and I think it would have been much more effective if it was a shorter short film. However, the basic idea was there, and I was intrigued nonetheless. Next for me, I thought some of the shots were pretty creative. Although the film grammar wasn't perfect here, I really liked some of the creative shots you guys got. Some of these shots were really captivating. And finally, the cutting of the film. I thought the timing of the cuts, the pace, and the overall visual editing was pretty good. Finding a rhythm for a film is always really difficult, but I felt the cuts in this one were really good. Let's transition now to the not so good. All right guys, so for the not so good on this one, the technical stuff. There were too many out of focus shots. The audio was out of sync later in the film and the audio quality in general was just not great. And unfortunately, that can really take somebody out of the film, especially the audio quality side. People can forgive bad video, but when you have bad audio and you can hardly hear what the guys are saying, or you could tell it's kind of got that hiss of a lower quality microphone, that can really take somebody out of the film. But I'm not gonna harp on this too much because technical stuff, it can be worked on and it can be fixed. I'm not here to trash the movie. Next for me is the acting. As I always say, I'm not a huge person to critique acting because I really don't feel that I'm qualified for it, but I think you guys could have gotten some more here. I thought Hugh Machine 1.0 did very well, but 2.0, The Officer, and The Guy on the TV could have been better. And it also bugged me that The Guy on the TV was reading off of a script. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this was intentional because I think what we're supposed to be kind of feeling is that this guy is, doesn't really care, but it was really noticeable that he was looking off screen and when somebody's not really looking at you really and making eye contact every once in a while, it can be really distracting and it just kind of takes you out of the scene. And finally for me, the special effects. If you set out to do a sci-fi movie, I think you really need to have the special effects to sell it to us, to really put us into the film. It's hard to be immersed when there are no uh, gun muzzle flashes, special effects to sell the human machine. And I know you guys had kind of the insides and that was really cool, but I would have liked to see more of that. Or even blood makeup special effects. There was just too little special effects used for a sci-fi film. It was more uh, sci-fi in the story, but you really have to execute it in the visuals as well to really immerse us in what you're trying to do. What are my overall thoughts on this one? All right, guys, so overall, I really liked this film. I thought it was pretty cool. The storyline was awesome. Uh, a really, really intriguing idea. And I just wish some of the technical stuff wasn't there so I can give this one a higher grade. But it's always great to do a film like this and have a learning experience and say, okay, this is what we need to do for next time. And then put it into that next script. Um, that's pretty much what filmmaking is. It's all about the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, because you're always getting better. You're never going to make the perfect film. So this is a great stepping stone for a really sci-fi mind, which I can tell that you have, and it's only going to get better from here. I'm really excited to see what else you have in store for us. For this film specifically, I'm going to give it a two out of five stars, but I definitely recommend you guys try it if you guys get the chance. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us here on Robbie Reviews. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much, Zerker Films, for sending your short film on through. If you enjoyed this review, give it a like. And if you want to see more from this channel, please subscribe. I want to know what your guys' thoughts were, so go ahead and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the film, and I will be sure to check it out. Do you want your short film reviewed on Robbie Reviews? If you do, go ahead and send me an email at robbiereviews at gmail.com or hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have an awesome day. By Zerker, Zercher film, Zerker, Zercher, I do not know. 
I'm very sorry in advance. From Zercher or Zerker, I think it's Zercher, Zercher Films. But without further ado, let's get into the review. Hey, that, that's a rhyme, another rhyme. I am just a, a poet and I didn't even know it. I thought humanoid, uh, humachine. I thought human, humanoid, humachine, 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 humachine. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me, us, uh, disturbing fan fiction. We have Norman Bates, Psycho, and uh, Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. And they're gonna make sweet, sweet love. Mm. They look oddly similar, right? It's almost like these Funko things are pretty much the exact same thing, and uh, they just changed the little, little costumes on them. But I love them. They're great. And uh, I'm going to keep buying them because I'm, um, you know, or have them bought for me. These I didn't even buy these. I'm, I'm just a spoiled, spoiled person. 